We have to be careful about this. The, the President does not say this all the time. The President says different things. The, the Minister of Defence, Safar Abiyah, forget, does talk about war fairly often. The President says different things. He says he's committed to the peace process. Um, he's also occasionally makes quite positive comments about the rights of the residents of Karabakh. So he has different audiences, and, and certainly there is a feeling of frustration on the Azerbaijani side that there is no progress, which is expressed in what some people would say is a very counterproductive way in, in talking about Azerbaijan's military capacity. But we also have to, fig to remember that these people are rational politicians. Um, they have an oil and gas industry to protect. Um, so talking, making some rather vague threats yeah. about war is one thing, but actually carrying through with it is, is, is another. And I think um, the Azerbaijanis will be aware they've been given studies that shows that it, that's militarily there's almost no chance of them winning a war. So um, it's one thing Why? to talk uh, because um, because of the terrain, the geography around Karabakh, because the Armenian defensive positions are very strong, um, and also um, because uh, as um, Azerbaijan might have some nice new weapons, but you basically need to. Uh, to win a war, you need to rely on troops on the ground, and and that would mean basically mean throwing uh, thousands of young men into almost certain death on the Azerbaijani side. Mm.